Hi, today I have a simple question for you. What type of cell does uh, mitosis create? And here is uh, four different answers. If you are confused and don't know which answer is correct, here is my explanation. And I want to start with uh, a description of the two processes. Uh, first would be uh, meiosis. And the second would be mitosis. Um, I want to give you a brief description of each so you would be uh, better understand and you would be uh, later easily uh, answer this uh, question on your own. So uh, meiosis is a sexual reproduction and we start with germline cells. And uh, at the first stage, germline cells are deployed, and then uh, the chromosome number doubles, and we have tetraploid cell. So this is going to be first stage, and uh, on the next stage, uh, uh, we have tetraploid, and then through the process of the double reduction, uh, this is going to be third and fourth stage. Uh, uh, this uh, initially deployed uh, cell would produce four uh, haploid cells and we call these cells gametes and gametes can be of the two kinds one is sperm germline of the uh, males would produce sperm and germlines of the females would produce egg cells. So this is a brief description of the meiosis. And uh, now I want to explain uh, what is uh, mitosis. So mitosis, we start with uh, somatic cells. And somatic cells, basically all the rest cells in our organism except germline cells. And if I take, for example, somatic cell of the human, we have 46 chromosomes, 23 chromosomes from our mother side, and 23 chromosomes from our father side. So together this would give 46. So this is normal number of chromosome, chromosomes in a somatic cell and at the stage that we call interface when a cell prepares for the division we have at the beginning 40 6 chromosome in each cell and this is diploid number and we call such cell diploid so at the late interface we have 92 chromosomes and we call it tetraploid uh, when we have 4 sets of the chromosomes so this is going to be two sets from our father sides and two sets from our mother side. And then we have a few more stages that I don't, just don't want to give a description right now because it's not important for our explanation today. And the last stage would be telophase. And through the process of the cytokinesis, this stage would produce four, uh, sorry, two daughter cells, and each daughter cell would have half the number uh, that we have here, and this is going to be 46. So 
this cell just would divide uh, to two daughter cells, its uh, genome would divide, and other components of the cell would divide, and two daughter cells would be of the smaller size, uh, just like uh, at the early uh, interface that we have here. So this is same stage here, and each daughter cell would also go undergo the same process of doubling uh, genetic material and would end up with two more cells. This is how our organism grows and this process goes on and on uh, through the whole our life and uh, some of our cells uh, reproduce every hour just like some cells in our stomach shed every hour some cells in our skin shed every day and other uh, cells like our nerve cells usually when we fully developed by age of 18 and 20 wouldn't uh, grow anymore and uh, uh, it's very hard to replace them. That's why serious uh, injuries to the spine cord would mean serious problems to the health. So hopefully uh, now you're able to answer this question that we start with, and that is we start with diploid number or diploid cell and we end at the process of the mitosis with two diploid cells. So the correct answer would be A. Hopefully you were able to learn something new today. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. I post new videos almost every day. Thank you for your attention and goodbye.